Welcome back to Triple R. Today I'm going to give my first impression slash review of a game called Moon Scars, which is currently available on Game Pass, which is where I found it. I figured why not? It's free. It's a smaller game. So a quicker download than some 90 gig game that I would pretty much have to wait until the next day to play. That being said, I saw some negative reviews of the game stating that it had unresponsive controls, which of course can really break a game like this. So playing the game so far, I can say mostly controls are fine, but I did feel some unresponsiveness here and there, but not game breaking or to the point of frustration where I just wanted to quit the game altogether. Uh, Moonscars is developed by Black Mermaid and published by Humble Games. I got it installed and jumped into the world of Moonscars, which is a grim, dark world full of shades of grays. Uh, these shades of grays, though, do make the reds and what other little colors stand out very nicely, and it fits the theme of the game very well. So I think it was a good choice for this type of game and the story it's trying to tell. Uh, the start of the game gives you some background story narrated by the sculptor. Uh, the story is loose and definitely could be told better in my opinion. As for the gameplay, you play as Grey Irma, a warrior who is searching for the maker, the sculptor who you heard at the start of the game. Uh, Moonscars is a 2D side-scrolling platforming game that has some light rogue elements and fits the Souls-like Metrovania category of games. When you start the game, you start with a broadsword and have a normal attack, a charge attack, along with a jump and a dash. You will soon acquire more abilities. Uh, there's a magic ability tree where you will pick what to equip when you gain your magic abilities. You will eventually gain two magic ability slots and also the ability to use Icker uh, to heal. You use Icker to use magic abilities and to heal, and you gain Icker back by defeating enemies. You also gain spite bonus at certain points during the game, which you can choose one of three power bonuses. And when you die, you will lose all your spite bonus. Uh, the save system is also a bit different, whereas when you find these mirrors, you can save, but you will lose your spite bonus. Early on through the mirror system, you'll find a home base hub area where you can talk to NPCs and buy buffs from them and continue the story. Uh, you'll get, gain a little more knowledge of what's going on. So after playing the game for a few hours and finally beating a boss, I can say I really enjoyed Moonscars. The combat is fun and you can feel the weight of the fights, but I can also see it becoming a bit repetitive. Combat can also become very difficult when encountering multiple enemies on screen, which you can somewhat avoid by slaying what is on screen and not progressing any further until said foe on screen is defeated, meaning you don't edge like left or right or go up because more enemies will be on screen and it makes it more difficult. I found that sometimes it was best to skip combat altogether just to get to the destination such as the boss battle. Luckily I was able to recover my body right before the battle began over and over, which I forgot to mention when you do die you can retrieve your body and regain some of the bone dust you have gained during your gameplay. Bone dust is how you like buy the buffs and stuff like that. Uh, the boss fight, if I remember correctly, the boss fight took me multiple tries, multiple me <laughs> being a lot of tries, but it never got to the point of a rage quit. It was very satisfying once I did beat the boss. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I had that just one more try aspect to it, and I finally beat the boss. So. So as far as first impressions go, Moonscars is a really fun game with solid combat, a cool dark world with nice animations and art. I would give this game an 8 out of 10 for a first impression slash review. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.